This trekking is called Vicuña Trek. We start this tour on an altitude of 3,600 meters above sea level to arrive within two days to an altitude of 4,600 meters. On this trek, we hike among the volcanoes Chimborazo y Caiguarazo, and we're ending our adventure in a little Indian village. The name of this ecosystem is El Paramo. It begins at an altitude of about 3,500 meters and ends where the snow and glaciers start. Up here, above the tree line, we find lots of smaller types of vegetation, low temperatures, high humidity and lots of ultraviolet radiation. The mountains and volcanoes that we can see here are part of the great mountain range of the Andes, beginning in Venezuela, passing through Colombia, Ecuador and Peru, reaching down to Bolivia and Chile. The Andes stretch about 7,500 kilometers and its mountains reach an average altitude of 4,000 meters. In Ecuador, we have approximately 80 volcanoes with the highest being Chimborazo, with an altitude of 6,310 meters above sea level. The interesting thing about Chimborazo is, since the world is not a perfect globe, but wider on the equator, when measured from the center of the Earth, this volcano turns out to be the highest mountain in the world. This is the erupting volcano Tungurahua. His latest eruptive process started in 1999 and to this day continues to erupt in a very moderate but frequent manner. Watching this at night or at sunrise is spectacular. This is the volcano El Altar. This volcano collapsed during its last eruption, leaving the peaks as they are today appearing like an altar in a church. The other erupting volcano is Sangai. This one has been permanently active, but because of its location in the middle of the jungle, it doesn't have any effect on populated areas. From here on this sunny day, we can understand why in 1802 Alexander von Humboldt called this area the Avenue of the Volcanoes. 
At that time, von Humboldt was traveling in what we call now the Pan American Highway, and he was very surprised to see both on his left and on his right snow capped volcanoes. The following images are showing the vegetation of the Andean Highlands. These small plants capture moisture coming from the glaciers, the fog and mist, store it in their root system like a big sponge and little by little releases it, creating streams and rivers which supply water to the cities. And this is the reason that the Ecuadorian government has made them protected areas to safeguard this important natural water resource.